I uh, preach, but I preach to myself too, and I'm always praying for is I call it peace in the waiting. I pray for peace in the waiting because so often in life we're waiting and yet we're in this society where we want things to happen right now. But look, we, we've we gotten to where we are uh, in regards to COVID anyway, uh, you know, for uh, 11 months now. It took 11 months. And then if you go back to the racial injustices and and political upheaval and, and the little ones are sensing all of this, all the stress and they're hearing, they're feeling it all. So it's taken us a long time to get to where we are. So it probably isn't going to be happening overnight. So if we can all just be patient, maybe extend grace even to ourselves, one to another, as we are extending that grace and that support and that encouragement to our little ones. So, Sonia, tell me about your peace in the waiting. What are some of the tools you use for that? Uh, peace in the waiting. Uh, well, for me, um, you know, I'm I'm a, a Jesus follower. I'm a Christian, and of course, you know that. And I, I think our viewers all know that. So, for me, in my practice, um, I'm very prayerful. Uh, I have a load of scripture memorized. Um, thank goodness when I was at church by the side of the road as a little girl, I think that's when that mind is molding. There's so much scripture. But the way that I see it is that each one is, um, it's a tool that I need. So when when I'm in crisis, when I'm being impatient, and when I want to see that result now, uh, I, I want to reach for the correct tool. And so in a toolbox, you know, if, if you're needing um, a nail to nail in there, you know, then you're not going to reach for a wrench. You need a nail. And when you're needing a wrench to use in that moment, you're not going to grab a paintbrush, you know. So it's it's a matter of grabbing the right tools. And for me, first of all, is um, the moment, the power of pause just take a breath and I say uh, to my my couples that are gonna get married just take take a breath just take a beat just take a beat and then I remember that God is with me he's never gonna leave me nor forsake me he is right here with me and I do trust him for his timing for all things and so I ask is there something that I need to do in this moment or have I done everything that I need to do and so now it's in God's hands and so I just wait and so I ask for his peace in the waiting that I would be anxious for nothing at all but to cast those cares right back onto him and say Lord give me your peace see my peace that I create that you create that man creates is uh, is very limited and um, it doesn't uh, tend to endure <laughs> and so I ask for the peace of God that really is beyond our comprehension and understanding to help me and to grace me and to bless me while I'm waiting and then that time comes with whatever it is and over and over again I'm always in awe and it's almost like it's an aha moment all over again yet by the first time the power of asking for that peace in the waiting yeah I love that I love how you said that and there's so much in that and I I also am a Christ follower, but as a mental health counselor, I don't always get to say that to people. Right. Yes, right. It's really, it's a journey that I have to walk to and sure. trying to give as much hope as I can without always sharing all that's in my heart. Yes. And in, in that, I think as you were talking, I thought of a couple tools that I kind of use regularly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and one of them, even though I'm not a Christian and people aren't necessarily Christians, there's a scripture that people tend to know out in the world and uh, are open to engaging with on a regular basis. And that's the 23rd Psalm yeah. that opens with the Lord is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. there are times when I will actually do a visualization with people of just imagine that you're there in that field and the Lord is your shepherd. What does it look like? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where are you? Where's the Lord? Mm -hmm. And it says, the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. And you can just sit on that one for a really long time in this moment where it's hard 
the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes what we need most is just to be in that moment and that know, like for right now, I'm alive for right now. If I need a wrench, there will be a wrench, right? Yeah. Right now, I don't have to look any further than right now. I can be in this moment. Just be. Um, Yeah. 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 And, and sometimes we've forgotten to do this. And to some extent, I feel like this year has been a reminder that we can just be. Yeah. 